Hello, listeners, and welcome to the show. Um, first things first, I gotta admit that I kinda fucked up this week. I, uh, accidentally deleted the episode I was supposed to play today, which was the episode where we do the lyrics segment and talk about song lyrics that we picked out, but, uh, you know, shit happens, so... Uh, we're playing a, an episode we recorded long before, well not long before, but uh, before all these episodes that are online now, and that's back when we did it with our buddy Mike, and um, you know, I think it's a pretty good episode, um, audio quality is not uh, the best, some of the guys are a little bit lower in volume, I tried to fix that as much as I could, but um, you know, it is what it is. Um, this is back when we were, you know, still fairly new to podcasts, but, uh, overall, it's pretty fun. And, uh, but, you know, it's a free show. You can't, uh, really complain. (laughs) Um, but, uh, this also is the episode where we talk about the fetus fights that you probably heard us mention a few times before on previous episodes. Um... It happens uh, at the end of the podcast, pretty much. That's the last thing we talk about. But, um, yeah, so Merry Christmas to you. That's what you get. Happy holidays. (laughs) Uh, Since I fucked up, you guys reap the benefits. But, um, anyways, thanks for listening, and uh, hope you enjoy this episode. And welcome to another episode of the Distorted Minds Podcast. Ooh. I am Mike. To my left, I have the man, the king of the hill. That's We're right. We're talking about Kevin Ooh. of the hill. <laughs> In Across this from me, a very large man, very buff man. He went on a date last night. He said he knocked it out of the park. We're talking, I have Drew over here. Drew. Hey, what's up? And uh, two across from me, next to Drew, have the very handsome... What's the very luscious locks. He needs a hair endorsement, like shampoo. We have Keith. <laughs> hey, Keith hey. Sutherland. Drop your weapons. Well, shit. Without further ado, hit it. again we got a full room tonight hell yeah drew came back for another one it's a full house (laughs) (laughs) everywhere you look everywhere you know i don't know if we're allowed to sing that yeah are we allowed to i don't know sure copyright you gotta change the no we're allowed to gotta make it a parody song (laughs) fuck that (laughs) we could though it's like doing a cover song yeah, I guess so. Yeah, try that. So how's everybody doing? Doing good. How you Finer doing? than frog hair. <laughs> I said that the other day at the bar. Hey. And I was like, do people still say that? <laughs> just <laughs> just <laughs> thrilled to film, man. Hair. Nope. I've never thrilled. heard that, though. <laughs> That's an old saying, dude. I, I, heard I, I only that heard it young. from, uh, I got it from Les Claypool. You know, you know how he is. The Primus dude. Oh, yeah. He's uh, one of them backwoodsy type of dudes. The bass guy? Oh, yeah. On lead bass. He's colder lead than the fucking bass. He's a brass bra out here. <clears throat> he's my hero, man. <laughs> your hero? Nah, he's great, though. He's Came not as good as that zero. Seinfeld guy. <laughs> the Seinfeld bass player. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Michael Richards for a second. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Kramer. Remember when he did a stand-up? <laughs> he got fired. 
for being racist. racist. <laughs> you remember that? But he, you know, it's uh, funny because they only apologize after they get in the shits and oh, the trouble. It sounds so disingenuous. He said the N-word a bunch of times. Uh, I do know about that from that South Park episode. I think, oh, yeah, yeah. I think Dave Chappelle was talking about that on his new stand-up on Netflix. I'm not sure, though. No, I, was, I was talking about the bass player. Who does all their intros and outros? Like, yeah. Yeah. that guy probably just went to the studio for like that an hour one day, and they just the used like his little clips. Like, hey, well, just go ahead and fuck around on for like heard, an hour. I heard he did it. Maybe not every episode, but most episodes, he would do it different. <laughs> like he would always do a different. Take. So it'd be just a little bit different. Oh yeah, he does. He goes to the tempo of uh, Jerry Seinfeld's yeah, stand-up. Yeah. The way he's speaking, he yeah. basically goes off of his, the tempo of That's the way he's is. talking. Yeah. I tried to watch. Tried to get into Seinfeld a few weeks ago. Didn't get into it, but I'm on season three of Cheers. Like watching the hell out of Cheers. No. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, Cheers is a great Fuck fucking yeah. show. Season three still got Coach. Fra- yeah, Woody Frazier Allen. just showed up basically. Recently, oh, I was yeah. like, oh, fuck, Frazier. is a good show, too, man. I was but like, Niles is the Frazier? best character on that show. Have you watched it lately? There were Side show people. Cecil. Like, those those uh, those sitcoms, you go back and rewatch them, they're horrible people back then. The 90s, man, they're just like... Like the oh, actors were, themselves were horrible people? No, 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 no. Just like the, the characters in the show. Like, go back and watch Friends, and you're like, well, fuck, no wonder they're all just hanging out with each other. The fucking nobody else wants to spend time with them because they're all d bags. It's like, <laughs> oh, and then you go and watch, you go and watch. Uh, it's always sunny, and you're like, yeah, that's that's them now. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, it's like the updated version of that show. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what I love about Always Sunny, though, man. You can watch like one or two episodes, and you're like, oh. I'm not that much of a piece of shit. All right, cool. Like, you know, it's compared such, to that, like I love that show so I do much. Too, man. Fucking hilarious. It's, it's so good. Charlie Day. Charlie Day. He makes that show. Yeah. Hey, dude, the fucking Dennis. System. Wow, God. <laughs> Dennis system. Have you guys ever watched the Nightman Cometh Live episode? Live? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they, they put on the play. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it's hilarious. So goddamn funny, dude. <laughs> you gotta like, pay the troll toll if you're gonna get that boy's hole. <laughs> and then, and then when they do it live, like on a stage, they like, go to a, like a theater and they perform the actual play. Yeah. To a live audience and record it, and then and he that proposes part. to the uh, waitress, yeah. and then there's like that part where he like pulls out the gun and he's like, pow, 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 click, click, click. Fuck, should have brought more bullets. <laughs> he throws the gun. <laughs> like he didn't do that in the episode, but at that part, I always thought that one was pretty funny. The funniest thing about him always like hitting on the waitress is that's his wife in, in real life. life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and isn't yeah. Mac and D are married They're in real life? They yeah. got kids. But not old Charlie. Oh wait, what, who's the other guy? Oh, uh, Dennis. Dennis. Yeah, he was. Did you guys ever watch? It, I think it only had like a couple of episodes, maybe a season. That '80s show. Yeah, he was, he was on that. He yeah. was in that. That's so right. weird. That show was terrible, huh? It's because it tried to live off the hype of that '70s but show. Like, the, they didn't have the magic. The yeah, metalhead chick that was in the episodes. That's yeah, the have a girl. Big ass spiky hair. Yeah, that's the girl from not another teen movie. The main girl. I don't remember that much. Like the main girl that like in the bed with the the vibrator that popped out at the beginning. Like the main chick of. I don't think I've seen that one movie. actually. It's got know. Captain America before he became Captain America. Chris Evans. Yeah, and he had the banana <laughs> on his ass. With yeah. The, the whipped cream and the cherry on his wiener. And... <laughs> you don't want your banana split? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pull, you know what I'm talking about. Pull my about. wiener out. <clears throat> Oh, the wiener out. <laughs> I wish we had it queued up. Yeah. I should have just went and did it. Oh, uh, yeah. Didn't that would have been funny. Next time. Next time. Next time, Gadget. <laughs> that was also like, he did like the villain voice for like a, sh- a lot of shows. I feel like that guy. Yeah. Fucking dude that does Pinky in the Brain. The dude that played Brain, he died <clears throat> recently. The voice actor. Bummer. Bummer. Guys. Speaking of don't know. Voice, I, no, I don't. You know what we're going to do tonight, Pinky? Try to he, take over the world. He almost <laughs> sounds like Kelsey Grammer, dude. Yeah. Like, I, for a second, I thought that was Kelsey Grammer when I was watching. When I was a kid. Frasier. Yeah. Yeah. 
We're going to take over the world. <laughs> I can't do it. He was also no, her. no, gee, brain. He got brain. <laughs> Kelsey Grammer was like randomly in an X Men movie. Yeah, he was a beast. Yeah. Like, he was like the perfect beast, dude. dude like, I mean, it sad. wasn't bad. I was just like, that's fucking Fraser. I know it was before we started recording. <laughs> you were Crane. talking about um, Boy Meets World. I was like, that yeah. dude that that I was talking about. The dad? Are you uh, talking no, about Mr. Feeney? The, the dude that Feeney blasts, Corey's brother or whatever. Eric? His brother Eric or something yeah, like that. Yeah, the dude with the longer brother. hair, the one that's always going, Mr. Feeney! Yeah, uh, yelling for him. Maybe, yeah. But yeah, that dude played fucking Batman Beyond. Oh yeah, that's him. Yeah. Yeah, that's Batman that guy. Batman Beyond. I didn't Beyond. fucking know that yeah. until recently. Was that, was like, a good, oh, that was a good show. Dude. They should make a movie out of oh, that. Oh, the cartoon one? Lot. Yeah, he played in a lot. He's a Make a Batman Beyond. I remember that one. Type. That would be cool. Oh, uh, the dude who did uh, <clears throat> like Leonardo's voice on the old Ninja Turtles is the same guy who did fucking Liquid Snake and all the Metal Gear movies. Yeah, Liquid. The Snake. dude that did Beast Boy played uh, Mikey in one of the Ninja Turtles, uh, like, like the, the Nickelodeon Nic- oh. Ninja Turtles. See <laughs> those, dude. Best Ninja Turtle movie is the first one. Yeah. Hands down. <laughs> sure. Maybe. Are you talking about live action movies? Yes. Or? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but he never has to look for a can opener. <laughs> <laughs> What's a guy got to do to get something to eat around here, Leo? <laughs> He's like, wise man said forgiveness is divine. But never, never pay, pay full price to late pizza. <laughs> <laughs> 72 and an 8. 72 and an 8. I can't quote You're standing that. on it, dude. <laughs> hey, this is a thing. <laughs> like, I was obsessed with those movies when I was a kid. Dude, I'm still obsessed with the first yeah. one. So, you were saying that, have you watched The Boys? The Boys? Yeah, that's a fucking great series, man. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm, yeah, I'm watching it. I've read up on all the comics and shit. Have you seen anything on the comics, dude? No, man. It is... Bonkers. Fucking crazy. There's so <laughs> much gore. There's fucking... Uh, I don't want to ruin too much, but there's like... I probably won't watch it. It is too... Fuck, it, there's people getting fucked by animals. There's orgies. There's people eating babies. and People getting ripped in half. There's a bunch of like 9-11 shit. Yeah. It, it's a fucking crazy ass No, it's, it's, a, it's a fucking cool I can't show believe they too. turned it into a TV series. Well, what's cool about it is it completely subverts the superhero genre in a way that it's like they're it's like to the public eye like yeah they're these fucking heroes but like they're just like yeah. regular people and they're fucking terrible. But even more so, they have superpowers, so they know they can do whatever the fuck they want and get away with it. But they're not tra- They're like super-powered, grown people with the minds of children. They're just all about like their brand and making money and looking good in the camera. And then doing whatever fucking perverted, deviant thing they want. Like when like the cameras are off, like it's good. So it's, it kind of reminded me of the Wanted comic. Like, not the movie. The comic is totally different where they're like superheroes and villains and shit like that. But, kind of reminded me of that. But, <laughs> and way more gore and sex and nudity. It is not a kid's comic <laughs> at all. Did either anybody play a Star Wars Jedi Outcast on GameCube back in the day? Fuck uh, yeah. It's coming to PlayStation mm-hmm. 4 shit. in like a couple weeks. Damn, I don't have a place that got a fucking uh, Xbox. A, I was going to say, if you have a Nintendo <clears throat> Switch, it's going to be on that, too. Yeah. Damn it, man. I'm waiting for the PS5 to come out. Hopefully it is backwards compatible, like they're saying, with all the other systems. That would be cool. Did you ever play like... Jack and Daxter? Or... No, not really. No? What games did you play? Mm, I don't know. A lot of N64 he going was, on. He was smoking weed and fucking girls. That's what yes, he was doing. He didn't have time for that. I was being cool, man. <laughs> I mean, we did play. I mean, I played a lot of games, but I, fuck, I don't remember them. <laughs> played a lot of games, a lot ran a lot of trains. <laughs> Just bought tool tickets. How oh, excited yeah. are you, Drew? Dude. Only me and Drew. These two aren't going. Fucking nah. fools. I can't, <laughs> I can't afford that shit, bro. 
That's just, just intense trying to buy the tickets, though, dude. I had to get on there, and I'm fucking waiting before, you know, because it went on sale at 10. So I'm on there waiting, and it's like, press this button to jump into queue. So when 10 o'clock comes, you'll, already you already on. have your number, and you wait your turn. Shit, man. I was like... You should have just said you wanted to go. I would have thrown you money. I don't care. It's good, man. I probably wouldn't be able to even get it off work without messing, like, part of my paycheck, and I need that shit. That's like, fair. I, I think I already That's ran fair. through all my like paid time off and shit. I gotta let it build up. <laughs> I don't okay. use my paid time off. I use my uh, PPTO. Yeah, that that takes even longer to build up. I know, but I use that, and then I, if I request a day off, it's just an unpaid day. I'm using that for like when I'm late or like if I miss. And then I get the payout at the like beginning that, of yeah. the year. That big right. payout. Yeah. I'm gonna drink one more beer. T- all right, do it up. <laughs> you might have to go on the beer run though. Hey. <laughs> Just saying. I'm, I'm gonna do it right but now. How fucking amazing is that album? Oh, the album. All right, never mind. Yeah, oh, yeah don't gonna, leave yet. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> oh man, the album is it's incredible. It's beer inoculum is it's fucking brilliant, dude. Yeah, it's it a is. masterpiece. It is, and I uh, I love that they had. The integrity to just do what they wanted with this album. Like there is not a song that's under ten minutes on this album. <laughs> aside, well, aside from the digital, like the that, chocolate chip trip. Well, yeah, that's but it. I don't really count that as like a like right. An it's actual, just a drum solo. It, yeah, it's a, it's more like a intermission type song. Like it's not. Like, I saw a meme on fucking Facebook that said uh, it was really nice of Danny Carey to let them jam over his ninety minute drum solo <laughs> <laughs> or 80, 80 minute drum solo. <laughs> That's pretty good, dude. <clears throat> he That's fucking cool. kills it on that album, dude. Dude, his, oh, his drumming is so solid. It's, it's so impeccable. T- it's yeah, it, well, it's so tight and precise, but he still like tight has ball. these really like like fluid fills. And, uh, it's damn. all over the place. But it, it, I like when he hits the gong at the end of Chocolate Chip <laughs> Trip. <laughs> Boom! It's dope. But. I haven't um, got to hear all the songs dude, yet. Dude, uh... I mean, you know, I'll, I'll give it, I'm about to get it on my uh, Apple Music. Like, I know you said you love I'll Tempest. Yeah, that's a great... That's you gotta great. give it a couple tries, man. You can't just give it one try, because it has to sink in. Am I right, Drew? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's that type it's, of... It's a very... It's very complex, and you have to uh, you hear it a couple times, it, and you'll it, just fucking fall in love it, with it's it. It's like an epic, man, where you really just need to listen to it all at once, and it... It being eighty minutes, like you really gotta. Yeah, you gotta have the time and. It, well, you like with each listen, you're kind of like peeling back the layers and seeing how like really everything comes together because like you kind of see like how it, the album fluctuates and it has yeah, its definitely, flow. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Listening to it multiple times, like you really start to get in tune with it. You're like, wow, this is a fucking check it out. Album. Well, yeah, dude, that fucking CD, dude. I didn't know it had all that shit in it. I was like, man, 50 bucks, dude. I don't know. Ooh, and then, I know. like, we went over to that bar, and the dude had it all open. I was like, God damn, I don't know it all out. Yeah, the, uh, it's cool because the uh, track that's in that uh, special edition for the uh, album. Yeah, like, these are, like, it's perfect not. visuals if you are uh, <laughs> taking mushrooms to look at. You just look at the album and insert, like, Dude, yes, that's, that's a fucking I know, day. Right? That's a day. Like <laughs> even the doesn't the booklet spend, have a bunch of art in it too? That for sure. The booklet is fucking trippy as fuck too. Yeah, there's a video going on. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> the whole fucking it's it's a it's about like five minute long video or something like that. But, have you watched it all? And it's cool because that song, the song that comes with the video, it's not on anything else it only comes with the special edition I heard they had to make a few more well they didn't have to they made a few more of these because people really fucking wanted them (laughs) people who missed out well they sold them fucking everywhere like you can't right now you can't get it from anywhere like the cheapest you can get it is like on ebay for like $130 shit dude you should have bought two of them and sold (laughs) one right (laughs) fuck look at this shit like on Amazon, they're selling for like two hundred dollars. It's God, fucking crazy. Dude, yeah, I should have fucking bought two of them bitches or three of them bitches. Sold two of them for like two hundred. Made more than my money back. Uh, 
Oh man, I love it. It's fucking. Brilliant. I also, you know, just a little tidbit. I I love the fact <laughs> that Tool's new I love album. Love that part, dude. Top. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, oh, it fits yeah. perfectly. Gotta describe it. Oh, I gotta describe it. It's but for the audio fucking, listeners, I don't know. It's, it's like that a weird mandala. triangle. Yeah, well, eye. It's, a, it's a mandolin, but it's it's the uh, it's it's like a, the mandolin mixed with the third eye is essentially yeah. the design of it. I love Alex Gray, man. He's an incredible artist. Does a lot of drugs. <laughs> Yeah. All great artists. We do. should go to that place. You heard about the Sacred Mirrors place he's got? Yeah, or whatever. it's in New York, right? Uh, I'm fairly certain. That will be New my York. only reason to go to New York. <laughs> As it should I don't, be, because I never had any. <clears throat> no, it, it sucks. I've been I never there wanted twice. to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like people are like, oh, it's I like know. Homer Simpson, man. The only he people fucking I hates heard, New York. <laughs> the only people I hear talk good about New York is people who like were raised in New York. That's, or yeah. I mean, or like I would go just or to like go. people who have the like, the fantasy to go. And you can go to Niagara, Niagara Falls. I guess well, that's why my sister went. Well, I know a lot of hot girls that like going to New York, but I mean, you know, if you're a hot girl, you're getting shit for free. So or comedy. Well, there's yeah. a lot of comedy there. Yeah. 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 Well, there's a lot, a lot of big people. Name, there's big a lot names of depressed people in New York. Probably so yeah, I'm comedy sure. fucking kills. Like, it's a good. That's that's like a, a hub. It's a central hub for comedy because people will spend their life being fucking miserable, like working every single goddamn day Whoa, in the city with that. too many fucking people being all depressed. So yeah, of course, you're going to fucking go yeah. listen to somebody make you laugh just so you don't have to be miserable for every hour of the day that you're awake. <laughs> Dude, we just that's went and seen uh, Mark Norman. Mark Norman. Dude, that, that was, was a great show. That was fucking fun, man. I'm glad you guys came with me. Hell yeah, yeah, man! I was like, I'm like, let's. I'm gonna be coming around more because I'm gonna not be working so fucking much, man. I'm so excited to quit the bar. I'm just like, fuck yeah, us. fuck working so right. much. Fuck jobs. Right. Fuck jobs. That's why you guys gotta help support us so we keep doing this. <laughs> Give <laughs> better content. I like go this. out and do shit. Yeah, it's super fun. I don't know how. I don't know how uh, interesting it'll be to other people, but I like doing it. And yeah. We'll, we're, you know, we're leaving, like, a digital footprint for anybody right. who cares to listen to our... But, I mean, if you want to get at us at uh, any of the uh, Facebook... Social medias. Yeah, anything like that, distortedmindspod.com. Drop or, it in there, Keith. Goddamn it. Dot, uh, <laughs> at gmail.com. Yeah, at gmail.com. <laughs> distortedmindspod at gmail.com. Yeah, we'll cut my part out and put that right there. Yeah, Keith, uh, he likes Take cutting himself post. out. Yeah. My flappy Terry folds like my <laughs> suck my flappy foldy holes. Yeah. But yeah, if you have any advice, any feedback, anything you want to hear us talk about, anything that you know you can help mm-hmm. us make mm-hmm. it more enjoyable to listen to to you guys. Yeah, for let sure. Let us know. Help us. Help you. Yeah. But mostly us. <laughs> <laughs> but mostly us. That's right. Ooh. Fucking, uh. You guys have fun doing this, though? Oh, yeah, dude. It's fun. Even Drew's getting into it. Yeah. He's here for a second time in yep. a row. Right in a row. Oh, last time you were kind of nervous, and then you got on there, and you're like, oh, this fucking. Yeah, cool. he was a little apprehensive. <laughs> I was like, we're not going to drill you with questions or nothing, dude. We're just going to talk. Where were you July Bullshit. 24th? <laughs> yeah, pull out a notebook. You're like, okay, number one. <laughs> Don't, don't make me just go down get the list. incriminating evidence on them and shit. <laughs> just trying. To... Oh man, don't do that. There's a lot of weird shit in get there. Get a light. <laughs> Shout a light in his eyes. <laughs> should have, I shouldn't have read Lots. that book earlier. I did too much reading. Yeah, a little well, spacey. What were you reading? Are you Kevin Spacey? <laughs> <laughs> You're suspect now, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? He's a, he's a pedo ass, ain't he? Dude, Kevin, Spacey? Kevin Spacey? Yeah. yeah, he got or, in trouble. Yeah, he turns out he was like, coming up like, hey, what's up, little dude on the movie set? Yeah. What? Or yeah, he's gay, and he's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, he called, came out to gay. Called he came gay out part. gay to fucking try to divert. Steer away from the that, sh- yeah. <laughs> Nice try. I'm not a pedo, I'm just what's, gay. I wonder what he's doing right now. Is he locked up? No, probably not, right? I have no idea. People with money don't ever. They but, always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just, they just throw. Money well, solves isn't, all problems. Isn't Bill Cosby? Yeah, he's in. Pretty he's sure. In jail. He's in prison. What about a? Uh, don't eat the pudding. Think pops. Harvey <laughs> Weinstein guy. Oh, like the movie Harvey Weinstein. Guy. Yeah, he's. I heard about that motherfucker. Any dead? 
Did he kill did, himself? Epstein. That's oh, who that's, you're thinking of. That's that's who I'm Weinstein. Thinking of. Like, okay. he, he was like a movie producer. Movie producer. Or, yeah. yeah. Total scumbag. Uh, some, yeah. yeah. What did he He's do? like, you want to get this movie, <laughs> darling? Come here. I don't know all the details. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I pulled my wiener out. Pulled my wiener out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. We should have had that shit <laughs> queued up, man. <laughs> We're going to have that sound drop next time, for sure. Next time. So funny. Next time on I put it on loop. Minds. I put it on loop and it was like, pull my wiener out, pull my wiener out, pull my wiener out. <laughs> but don't you want to. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Move on to something else. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to. Who's squeaking? Is that you? <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> trying to hands free E Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a squid when I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Squirts the ink. <laughs> you gotta work yourself up to where you can go hands free. You just don't start out and fucking kill you. You fucking, you fucking kill your dick, son. I got a Bluetooth wiener. <laughs> Bluetooth wiener. Uh, totally hands free, baby. I <laughs> 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 oh, said my nasty. Bluetooth was uh, hands free, but uh, I don't feel nothing. <laughs> I'm going to jizz on your back like a spider monkey chip. <laughs> like, sir, this is a technical support. This ain't a sex lab? <laughs> no, sir. Tentacle support. Tentacle support. Oh, that's oh, that's nasty. That's like a show about... <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even say it. We're not going to be able to air this. Yeah, we will. <laughs> It's the internet. Goofy it's as fuck right now. Internet. Fucking what the fuck is the internet? The internet's weird, huh? It just popped up one day and then now it's fucking out of control. Right. We're like in between, <laughs> like we were around. <laughs> what? It's true. That's a true statement. And we were around before the internet got all popular and I know. everybody's like, You can fucking get naked ladies on here and <laughs> naked yeah. ladies or you can talk shit to people That's, right it's what moves technology man I think foreign like once it's like they're the driving force like, it was it was getting there before like myspace and all that shit but i think once that came out that's what like kids stopped going out and playing and you know doing all the shit yeah, they like, playing outside was dude, fun they like man watching yeah, other kids play with toys on youtube yeah kids yeah. watch other kids yeah. play fucking video games on yeah, youtube I and they're at yeah, my house right. they spend the like time. half their day doing that shit what? or play video games or fucking watch me play this video game <laughs> i mean I i'm not it. your little sibling bro i, get I ain't it gonna if, watch that shit i get it if you're like poor and you can't afford to play the game but you want to see it I guess. Play yeah. and you're like into the game or If whatever. you just want to see gameplay, I guess. But, or but like, if you're like using it for like a walkthrough, like you're stuck and you're like not sure where to go. Like, all right. Sometimes, maybe. Because a lot of the time, well, I guess it depends on where you go. Some of the times they're just trying to make entertainment. So they're not worried about like getting to the game. But if you get on like, say like Twitch or some shit like that, they're like comp <laughs> players that are like looking. Well, I'm... Um, I like I play all the Dark Souls and like FromSoft and shit, and those games are like super hard. And sometimes you're like you're like where do they go hard? I've been, well, been playing Monster yeah. Hunter World, and I guess the new uh, the new one came out, the update. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, the last game I uh, platinumed was uh, Sekiro. It came out this year. It's a really dope game. I haven't played that. It's a yeah, like a samurai era, like uh, before the Edo period game. It's really dope. I j- I was... Super difficult, but. I, like there were sections where I was like, I have no idea where the fuck I'm supposed to go. I was like, well, if there's a YouTuber that streams like episodes of like all from soft games, his name's a uh, fight cowboy. He's awesome. Check him out. <laughs> Drew's defending these people, man. I'm trying to trash these people. <laughs> but no, he's man, like, but no, man, they're cool. Well, no, no, you're I'm, just not getting it. No, no, I'm not. I mean, no, I'm just kidding. Go. I'm, I'm just talking about. Uh, 
like people that do walkthroughs for yeah, especially for that games that can be like really yeah, confusing because you're like you don't know where to go and like these people are you know writing for hours and like taking notes and then sitting down and like videotaping them playing the game and editing it just to bring you know bring you a fucking five minute video where you're like oh okay well this is what I'm supposed to do alright yeah. cool I can beat this game like they spend a lot of time doing that shit and I think yeah. for that I think we had should have more respect but if you're just like I'm just, making videos of you playing video games fuck you man I'm like, just upset hey, that I didn't get into the right. YouTube game if back in the day like, if it's making money there's I one know, dude's right? the, the Smosh guys they just like made a movie of them to like the Pokemon song in the dude's room <laughs> We could do that shit with this equipment that we yeah, got sitting man. right here. Or you yeah. could just play that drug song again. <laughs> <laughs> Drugs. Yeah. Gonna do that would be like mo- what? I showed him that Three fucking video of my buddy doing the Pokemon song. <laughs> that sh- Take that shit outside. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna do that, just get out. <laughs> that was a, that, was a joke. That was a, joke. <laughs> that was a reference. <laughs> <laughs> Bring some back. beers back. What? Beer, you don't have beer. to slam the door. <laughs> <laughs> that line where your I got like, the reference. Uh, yeah, he got the reference. Shit cracks me up. That was time. Donald Trump. <laughs> if you're gonna do that, just get out of here. <laughs> he's, he's coughing in the middle of my speech. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> if you're gonna do that, take it outside. <laughs> Fucking A, Simpsons man. predicts everything, man. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, um... Shit, I had something I was gonna... I should've brought my... But next my, we're gonna have a woman president. I know, I was gonna say <laughs> that. Um, I was gonna be like... I know we don't usually get to our notes that we... Because I know me and you take notes. Yeah. I don't know about... The others. <laughs> the other. I just show up. I, I, other half-assers. No, I'm just kidding. Like, hey, man, y'all just show up. You just ask me to show up. Talk about <laughs> shit. Talk shit about Mike while he's gone. It's great. But I don't want to talk shit about Mike. I like Mike. I'd rather talk shit about Tim. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we're not talking shit about anybody. Except for those we're damn just busting YouTubers balls. making more There's money a difference than us. between talking shit and busting balls. Right. Yeah. Oh, I know. I crack the hammer on old Timmy balls, all the time. <laughs> it's just he just makes it so easy. You busting my balls. You breaking my balls, Why there, you buddy. Here? Why you over here breaking my balls? <laughs> <laughs> what you gotta do this for me for? <laughs> I fucked that up. Oh, for me for. What, what's the matter for you? Why are you over here breaking my balls? <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, you? What's the matter, yo? Dude. Fucking here. over here riding Let me my see cannoli. What's on my, my uh, list. Yeah, man, what you I'm got? Scared. I, mm. I forgot to bring mine. Do you think the world is getting dumber? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and yes, and no. Explain, Keith. Um, Explain yourself. No, I'm just kidding. Think I think we're getting smarter, but we're... A shown... very small percentage is getting smarter. The rest are fucking dumbing down, way down. To an extent, yeah, but I think it's more of like... And the dumb uh, people fuck the most. They, Yeah, they do. But I think it's just... <laughs> the, just the... We got so... We see it so much that we don't see like... The other, the smart ones, and we don't really, we don't really celebrate any of the smart ones unless they're like, we found a black hole, and you're like, oh yeah, the one chick, or like that team, everybody else is dumb. But I mean, how about Doogie? Okay, Doogie I, uh, Hauser was I'll, smart. Uh, I'll elaborate. <laughs> try to do, try to do some of the, the kids' homework that they got now, or even try to go take a college course. You're gonna be like, fuck, goddamn, I am dumb as shit. But there's going to be other kids there that are like, fucking It costs it. too much to go to f- do that shit. You can uh, go, oh yeah, you can get um, a free Harvard course online on certain things. The Great Courses degree. Plus. <laughs> that would this, be cool. this episode is oh, sponsored yeah. by right, cool. The Great Courses Plus. Great no, I'm just kidding, but sponsor us. Yeah, <laughs> <I appreciate laughs> by Purple Beds. 
Have you seen the purple commercials, man? What call it mockery? Those are funny, weird. Funny, dude. I, they're, they're weird, but they're funny when you get the right one. I don't know if I've seen Call It Mockery. It's, uh... He's like doing different characters. He's like the old lady, and he like gets up and he starts dancing. He's like <laughs> dancing like, like the Six Flags guy. Nose, no, that would be funny. <laughs> okay, Mike. Is that so the Six Flags. Yeah, yeah. the old guy. I used to work. I used to work at Burger King, and my fucking uh, my manager looked just like that dude, really? and his name was Peter Potter. I go, <laughs> it's the weirdest fucking name ever. I go, you're a wizard, Peter. <laughs> you're a Potter, Peter. <laughs> So while you were gone, we I asked the question: Is the world getting dumber? Yeah. As in, <laughs> as it, the world, I mean, the human race, basically. I think maybe I the USA say, is getting dumber. Yeah, us for sure. Like, if yeah, we did we're a straight some fat, up like, dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> if we did like some some like tests up against other countries, we'll probably be like top five. Maybe you know top what? ten, but not number one. We're gonna be called China here. China. Yeah, well, that's what they keep saying, man. This is the thing about that's the, it's the political part of the scary. podcast. <laughs> but the thing about our cognitive abilities being degraded is we're getting to that point where we're so technologically advanced that everybody's so focused on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat, and all this other bullshit where that they're it's running twenty four hours of the day. It's <clears throat> it numbs the mind so like as oh, far as like for sure technical like, I'm way being, stupider than I used to be <laughs> well it's be, it's because of our attention spans have shortened so much diminished. because diminished when's well, the last diminished. time you memorized a phone number never never dude I, I mean can't, I can't if anymore you, I still if you lose your my phone, old phone right number. oh me too before like, you got a phone 854-6636 like yeah 789047 yeah. 8675309 yeah. I remember like yeah. Two numbers. Wait. Eight, six, seven, five, three, eight. But that's that's my point. Don't want to get a copyright. It's it's diminished because we're we're thrown, like, our senses are overloaded, like, and so we're always searching for this visual, audio, instant gratification because it's so accessible now. Like, I mean, if you wanted to listen to an album back in the '90s, you had to go to a fucking record store yeah. or like. I used to Turn love the going yeah. to the record store. Yeah, man. and it's not that way, man. It's, it's literally music is a click away. Videos are a click away. And you Hold can, up. Like, Side going note. To the video store was always fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, pff. fuck yeah. Blockbuster video. Uh, any of Hollywood video. <laughs> New family. Like, <laughs> Those family video still quick. exists. Like, Barely. Like, yeah, we didn't two have I them. know of are like splitting. Bless it. No more boogies. Die. Booger. <laughs> My insides will just explode. Booger. Booger. Uh, oh man. Um. Funny. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh well, we can. Uh... I can't breathe. I was gonna. Last time we fucking. Uh, we did the podcast. I brought up an idea about you know, uh, examining lyrics to a song. Like, we'll all take turns, you know. I'll do it one week, and you pick a song next next time and shit like that. And we'll just go through, like, read a phrase and talk about it and shit like that. I mean, we don't have to do it this time, but uh, what do you think about that? Sounds like a good idea. Fucking chili peppers, man. Those are going to be the most interesting ones. Yeah. Calling it now. Uh-huh. I'm blue. It, if I'm green, I would. <laughs> what's what's it, really what going on? What is really in that going song? on in that song? Let's right? get to the bottom of it. If anybody, I, I don't that's... care if the answer is at the top. You know what song I choose? Wipe out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna choose uh, tequila. I was, I was just touche. <laughs> Ninja Turtles again. I'm going. And the Sandlot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sandlot. Yeah, That's what it always reminds me of. Throws up all over those people. The spinning ride. Hmm. They like, all do tobacco. They're all like, big chief, big <laughs> good stuff. And then ten seconds. Of, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a good movie. Doing the head spin thing. Yeah. 
But yeah, let us know if you guys think that's a, something that you guys would like us to do. Um, I did have the lyrics ready though. We gotta get. We, we don't have get, to do it though. We gotta get better at uh, shooting out all the the social medias and and all that. Pew, pew, pew. You can get us at distortedmindspod at gmail dot com. Hit us up on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Snapchat under the same name. Let us know what you guys think. Yes, sir. Anything else we are, we I don't got know. anything to talk about? <clears throat> I can, uh, went to Clifty Falls, man. It's been a while since I got to go out and Clifty be out and, Falls. Yeah. That's, that sounds like they didn't take a long time trying to name that. No, nah, there's cliffs and there's falls, <laughs> and you might <laughs> fall off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they named it. <laughs> Many a people fell <laughs> off these cliffs. <laughs> they say in some places you fall, you never stop falling. Yeah, well, you know, back in 1926, Clifty Johnson was walking <laughs> along the waterfall, and he slipped and fell. We named it after him. That's why it's called Clifty Falls. <laughs> they say sometimes... Cliff- if you listen real close, you can hear his terrified screams as he falls off the cliff. <laughs> no. <laughs> Some have heard him say there's <laughs> there's gold in these here hills. And gold in them there shells. <laughs> gold in them shells. Shells and cheddar is fucking good. Yeah, man. Oh, man. My thing started going off. Uh-oh. His thing. Pull my wiener out. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny. We're referencing it, and nobody's gonna know about it until the next, the next one. <laughs> but I guess we we don't have to throw them all in order. We can we could just say it's whatever episode, and nobody's gonna know. Except you said it out loud, dummy. <laughs> we now can fix that. No. <laughs> Edit. Yeah. <laughs> The power of editing. Do the SoundCloud. Man, you got my third eye thinking right now, though. I mean, I'm still thinking about that. Are people dumb or shit? I'm like, <laughs> go ahead, dude. I'm just like, go off. Well, That's, you sound like you got some. Uh, you some said you good, were, well, 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 well thought out thoughts. <laughs> or, I'm pretty stupid. So <laughs> it's hard for me, to, my thoughts to process and my mind to. Speak them out how I want them, hear them in my head. I ain't so good at the getting the words out right. <laughs> I ain't good at this talking thing. Well, it's kind of like Drew was saying, really, like the technology has made it easier it's on us. It's created like shortcuts for us and like. I. Yeah. It does like pretty much. Screen it, it addiction like is one hundred percent a real thing. Well, and it's it's, it's gonna elim- be like that Wally movie. It's a elim- <laughs> It's eliminated a lot of critical thinking. Like people. Just, <laughs> they get so entwined with all hey, this unnecessary keep, bullshit. If you uh, if you take a shit, be sure to put one back. <laughs> <laughs> that was leave. a prayer, dog, and a joke. Take drip, a shitty, folks. leave a shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I read that on a fucking in the bar stall before at a bar. I thought it was fucking hilarious, so I've been saying it ever since. <sighs> Have you guys ever read anything hilarious on on a wall in a bathroom? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> do people even do that anymore? I so I work at Mo and Johnny's, right? Uh, and people write shit on our bathroom walls all the time. Uh, one of them was like it. I, it was something like Larry has a huge dick, and then Does someone Larry like work there? somebody like uh, xed out uh, like Larry and wrote another name. And then wrote, this person's a fucking liar. <laughs> like, putting an arrow at it. I see shit like that all the He's time. He's got a needle dick. <laughs> Your name is Needle Dick. <laughs> what was the first CD you ever bought? Uh, Beavis and Butthead. Uh, soundtrack. Metal Extrema <laughs> soundtrack. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was not the soundtrack, but they like released an album. It had uh, Monster Rob Mag- Zombie uh, or Rob- White Zombie. Yeah, it had White Zombie. Um, it had the, Chili Red- Peppers. the Chili Peppers covering "Search and Destroy," but it just it just starts off with them just going. Uh, <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. It's my lobes, man. Chirp my lobes. That's funny. How about you? What's your what's your first C D ever? That I ever bought or just ever had? Yeah. But I don't. I was trying to think about it. I don't really remember the first CD I ever bought. Or okay, well then had. Well, uh, I think we. I don't know if we talked. I've mentioned it before or not, but it was uh, the Wayne's World soundtrack or ACDC Live, like the the album, like the from like Donington. Like my dad gave me those, like because I was. What's like, on that one? Aerosmith. The, the Wayne's World one? The Wayne's World had... Um, <coughs> Aerosmith is the second one, isn't it? Yeah, they were Wayne's yeah. World too. They had uh, Alice Cooper, Feed My Frankenstein. Oh, like, yeah. Uh, oh. Red Hot Chili Peppers, the... Uh, they can't pronounce it. It's like Omdur Shrikio or something like that. Um, it's like a real... There's actually a lot of good songs in that movie. Yeah, there is. Uh, fucking... Hey Keith. Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, you know? Oh yeah, for sure. Dun, 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 dun. That's yeah, so my like, favorite fucking had like Eric Clapton, scene, bro. Had, uh, we always do that. Every Ryan time we do that song Dio. karaoke, everybody headbangs at that part. Yeah, right? uh, Dio, Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath, the Dio version. Oh shit, yeah. yeah Black Sabbath. Uh, yeah, that's some good shit on there. Hey Keith, what's that? What did you think of on the Wizard? I thought. <laughs> Put them on blast. <laughs> That's a new segment we're doing. If you go to the Wizard, <clears throat> you come back, we're going to ask you that. Because every time you think of something on the Wizard. I was thinking, why do I got to wash my hands every time I touch my dick to pee? Why don't I just wash it in the first place and then I have to skip the whole paint <laughs> part? <laughs> So you wash your dick first (laughs) and then pee? I just wash my dick in the morning and I'm good all day. (laughs) You know, that's... Fluff it, put some uh, baby powder down there. It's actually a George Carlin bit, which Kevin's wearing the shirt right now. I love George Carlin. (laughs) You know, it was something he said. He's just like, he's like, you know, I was like, I don't wash my hands. Oh, yeah. He's like, he's like, like, why why are you washing your hands when you, it's like, you got a dirty dick or something? He's like, you don't need to shower every day. Yeah, he's like, like, you know, sometimes oh. when I wipe, if I don't get any shit on my hands, I don't wash them. <laughs> <laughs> if I drop a piece of food on the ground, I pick it up and I fucking eat it. <laughs> he's like, that whole bit about, like, building your immune system yeah. and shit. He's like, we swam in raw sewage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd be funny if you're, like, leaving, you just got done pissing, and you're, like, at a restaurant, and you don't wash your hands, and you get the look from somebody, like, oh, that's cool, I washed it earlier, it's fine. <laughs> I've rubbed a bunch of sanitizer. <laughs> you're like, you're like uh, are you gonna wash your hands? Oh no, I cleaned it earlier. It's cool, man. Thanks though. No, I'm good. I'm not an employee. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. It's you're only like, nah, for employees. Like, must wash hands. You're like, no, nah, that's cool. Uh, hey, man, I gotta go clock in. <laughs> you like put on like the chef thing. I gotta go. pat him on the back. I'll oh, see you around. I was, have you ever like just been sitting there? Thinking about that, like you're at work and you gotta like put shit on the shelf, and you're like, man, I wonder who's like touched this and fucking didn't wash their hands. They just came out of the bathroom after a gnarly shit. You can't shit. think like that, Keith. Some kid just fucking picked his nose and then like touched the one <laughs> punch or whatever. Oh yeah, know. kids always be doing that. <laughs> kids be oh, doing man. that. Kids be doing the dangest things. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can you imagine, dude, if you were on that show as a kid? Oh, my God. What would you think today? Because you're a grown-up now, right? If you dude, were on that show. If, if, if I was a kid, but I would think of, like, if I just went back and then I was on the show, like, with everything now, oh, I would totally ruin that show. They wouldn't even be able to air the episode. <laughs> Do you remember uh Because I'd just Americans, be fucking with them. What was that show? I'd be like, I know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> America's Funniest Home Videos? That's what it's called. Remember that? It had oh, Bob fucking Bob Saget. Saget. Yes. He like did that weird voice like, yeah. through that for all the videos. Like, <laughs> Send us your your funniest one videos. One. We'll give you $100 like, and a shirt. Coming over here, Grandma. <laughs> yeah, it's like, that was what... 
Like that was this thing. We were. Uh, hey, we're gonna go down this slide. Whoop, whoop, oh, here yeah. I go. Yeah. That's really what it was fucking do. <laughs> Have like a little kid on the slide going, ah! and, like, <laughs> and then it shows like the whole studio audience. They're all just like gut bust and laughing. <laughs> Yeah. And then Bob Saget fucking creepily uh, goes down and leans him and he like starts talking to the kid and they're like, oh. yeah. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> about you. <laughs> and they're like, oh, he's, he's he's fine. He's not usually like this. Right. He's not he's, usually like he's this. Like, but he's he like a the evil. He's a super dirty comic though, isn't it? Yeah, he I don't is. know if I've ever heard his stand up. You know what? His stand up is not. It's not that like bad. It's not no, that good. It's not that good. I don't, he talks I don't like about it. like blowing John Stamos. Or like oh having like a yeah, I do remember that bit. Of the, like, the cutout mouth. Yeah, yeah like the cutout <laughs> he mouth. He stuck and his eye. dick through it. Yeah. <laughs> and then the other guy stuck his mouth through it. <laughs> oh god damn it. That was pretty funny. Don't fucking get, don't, don't break, get brain damage, Keith. Break. He keeps bumping his head on the TV behind him. On One of them TV. old school TVs, old, the big yeah. ass box TVs, old just box so we can play Nintendo sixty four. TVs don't play. Yeah. All nostalgia style. Fuck yeah. I want the squiggly lines. I want the static screen. I want the motherfucking buzz. I want the fucking <laughs> headaches. For sure. I want to have to use the track. I want the cancer. The all right. I no, I'm hear, just kidding. But I want to be able to touch the screen and then zap somebody. Shit. Oh yeah. Bigger. <laughs> <laughs> but like turn it off and it gets all staticky. Then you go up and you like rub the screen a little bit. And did you ever like shock somebody? That was a good electric noise, Keith. <laughs> Did, like ever accidentally leave like a VHS in the car? No. Like, what happens? It melted like. Dude. Like the whole. I had like the whole you know, tape like, or just back the behind, tape like, tape. The, the back seat. It was like always like a little space, and then it's got the rear window right. There's there's. Right. I had a movie sitting back there, and it fucking. Got all fucking toasted. Dude, it didn't <laughs> fucking work. There's a problem going on with VHS. It doesn't work anymore. That's gonna keep getting worse. Um, since it's like you use the tape, it gets pulled out. It's got those magnetic strips and all that. Those are starting to rust and strip out and not work. Huh. And uh, it's only gonna get worse like, unless you keep them in like the right condition. In a freezer, like, cryogenic freezer. They're like maybe another. 30 years or more, maybe you might not be able to play any of them. So there's gonna be a guy, oh, there's man. gonna be a guy in like unless 60 he's like, years who's unless like, has like this box, he's like, like pops the locks, like, tss, yeah, and he fucking lifts it up. And he's like, the Fuck original you know. Star Wars trilogy. Or how about uh, like one of those, like, how about one of those orange uh, Nickelodeon ones? <laughs> the Rugrats tapes? I got yeah, that. I think Good Burger was that orange <laughs> too. Was it? I it's think Nickelodeon. I yeah. Mean, I love that movie too. Fucking, Dude, uh, I had uh, Harriet original. the Spy. That's orange. <laughs> I had uh, the Ren and Stimpy Christmas movie. That was orange. Dude, the Ren and Stimpy was crazy. That was weird. Like that show. I didn't. <laughs> crazy I didn't really show. get into that. Well, oh, I didn't have weird. cable or nothing as a kid, but then I didn't watch a lot of it. But the episodes I did see, and I was like, "This is really weird." It's super weird. But I didn't know that the dude that played uh, Ren, I believe, is also the dude that played Fry. Real fucking high on drugs. Fry from <laughs> Futurama. Oh, uh, I know that guy, Billy West. Yeah, who's also the Honey Nut Cheerios B. Billy Be West happy. did Be so healthy. many voices, man. Yeah, he's also uh, no, no, no. No no, 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 And he also fingered your mom. <gasps> John, the dude that played, uh, the dude that played Billy and Billy and Mandy is the same dude that played Invader Zim. I just watched that Invader Zim movie. I gotta watch it. It was whatever. I gotta watch it. The show's dude. better. I got sure. a grr, I got a grr, grr. Uh, stuff thing. I put a straight jacket on it. It's the best, Looking. Gurr's the best character. I love Gurr. I've seen a squirrel. <laughs> He's going like this. <laughs> my, my buddy Nate just sent me this. It's this, uh, uh, you know, like uh, the NFL, the the, pa- the Green Bay Packers, and the Chicago Bears had a game last night. Oh yeah, my grandpa I was guess. talking about that. And, uh, Bears, I believe. Well, like one of the mics, the NBC broadcast picked up something. Somebody said. I've never had my butt fingered, and it got picked up on national TV. <laughs> oh my God. You should try it. Yeah. Yeah. Let her massage the prostate, folks. It says a, uh, a hot mic on NBC's broadcast captured someone saying, I've never had my butt fingered. <laughs> <laughs> 
you better not lay a finger on my. <laughs> you better not put your finger in my butter they, finger. They don't know who. They don't know who uh, said it, but here's the audio clip. Let's see if All right. Pick it up. Wait, wait. Uh, we could plug it in oh, if you want. See. Hear the buzz? Yeah, there'll be a buzz. Wait. No, I didn't hear it. Put it closer to the mic. Not really. Hold on. Everybody be quiet for a second so we can cut this out and post. Six yard line. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> stop yeah. it and play it again. Oh, shit, David. You know, like, the announcer even like, laughed on it too. He was like. Six yard line. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the next clip. Besides, pulled my wiener out. Never got my oh, butt my finger. <laughs> sounds like he's saying, like he's saying I'm getting my butt finger. <laughs> Get my butt finger. <laughs> she didn't even, she ain't even found the prostate. Sixty-nine yet. yard line. <laughs> Getting my butt finger tonight, <laughs> ten o'clock. That's the brown We have note. a date. <laughs> uh, we scheduled it in. Fuck. Butt fingering. <laughs> <laughs> I really need to get my butt finger. <laughs> He's like, uh, I just need to get my butt my, finger tonight, it's man. My it's a stressful day. day. <laughs> it's my <post-game> ritual. <laughs> to take this out and okay. we're back <laughs> like, literally I saw my phone and like I clicked the mint like the thing it was just like someone <laughs> says I got my butt finger in the NFL <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. oh man earlier uh, we were discussing the f- first album you bought have you ever bought an album Keith or have you ripped everything that you <laughs> me been a pirate my whole life <laughs> Um, the first album that I actually bought. Bought, bought. Probably, I mean. It's probably going to be really embarrassing. Do it. Um, I, mine are a little embarrassing, too. I think mine was like an ICP. <laughs> Which one do you know? Um, I think it's like the Great Malenko or, <laughs> um. <sighs> what, um. Or maybe like the Jekyll Brothers, but I think it was Great Malenko. You disgust me. <laughs> I was like that age, you know, like twelve, thirteen. I'm just like people rebel. They had some funny ass songs, dude. Yeah, they're you're, not. You're trying not, to spray I mean, Fago and finger hose. Like I get it. I'm not like, <laughs> and it's weird that it's weird like jug hose seeing them because like when you when you get them together, it's fun, but it's weird. Like I remember going and like going to a signing. And then, like, people that weren't dressed up with, like, their Bone face buzz. painted and shit like that, they'd just, like, start chanting, like, at them, like, weird shit. They'd be like, family, family. I'm like, You're talking about some weird orgy, aren't you? Or, like, they start throwing <laughs> fake, you know? Every time you go, there's, like, everybody's throwing fago. Oh, did you thing. bring the lube? Yeah, I got the orange fago right here. Hey, can you move your phone? I think that might be what's going on. Yeah. Thanks. But, yeah, dude, I mean... <laughs> When you, when I was younger back then, it was cool, but I don't know about now. I haven't really listened to them since like the Hell's Pit and Shangri La album came out. I met out. Malenko I heard... and he gave me three wishes. <laughs> and that night I fucked three fat bitches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the yeah, only well, lyric I know. Oh, uh, except for homies, homies. Yeah, everybody knows that song. <laughs> I was like, I'm a kid. The kid yeah. was like, you know, the uh, great Malenko, and I was like, you mean the wrestler, Dean Malenko? Like, <laughs> that's how fucking out Ray Mysterio? Dude, some of those songs are pretty funny, like Chicken Hunting, uh, The Netting Game. It's like, first. How old, how old would you say you were? It was just because they were uh, cursing a lot. It was like s- fifth, end of fifth grade, beginning of sixth grade, like that summer in between, maybe. Yeah. So, like, I, f- I flunked fourth grade, so I didn't take this on. I was like, probably like, you know, 12, 13, somewhere around there. Well, I was before I got kicked the fog out. Mine. I was like in fifth and sixth grade, I was totally 
jamming that uh, Kid Rock album. Bob with the Bob one? Yeah. Yes. And I had like... We used my, to jam that one too all the I had time. I like, get like my cousin or somebody to burn it for me. I had to like play it low like around my mom so she wouldn't hear the curse words. Like play it low, oh, my yeah. mom's just getting hear the curse words, but like on the school bus and shit, I was blaring that shit. Like that Lynn Biscuit album too. Yeah, like those two significant other. You guys, I was like rocking the fuck. You guys out of those. ever rock any Jinko jeans or Hell some yeah, other fucking trip pants? Yeah, had trip pants. I had UFOs. not the crazy trip pipes, pants, but I had some trip pants. pipes and Jinkos. I remember yeah, those. Dude. Yeah, right. I remember wearing Jinko jeans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's not white enough. The back or the pit bull or the fucking bulldog. My shoes not covered up entirely <laughs> motherfucking sketchers i don't want sketchers not sketchers it's the yes i don't want people Heelys. to see my shoes Heelys are tight i had some as an adult we we i'm gonna get a pair as an adult DC i know we're, shoes, we're, 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 <laughs> how are we getting back on pants <laughs> are we run out of material that quick already no, air just... walks man <laughs> <laughs> now we're in the fashion part of the podcast I, Teeth came out. Well, um, <laughs> for my first CD, well, it was two. I mean, I technically I didn't buy it. I, my mom bought it for me for my birthday. Oh, if we're doing that, well, okay. Then... What is that? Change it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I was thinking, what did I buy? With like my personally own bought. Money? Personally, like, yeah. Or like, or are you talking about your first oh, album sorry. that you received? Sure. Yeah. Like okay. bought with my own money. It would have to have been like. One of the Metallica albums. I think I bought an Aerosmith, albums. the first, like a Mega. greatest hits one. Oh, I remember buying a. That's the earliest uh, one I could think was, of. I got like the Pantera, Cowboys from Hell, and the Megadeth. It's like greatest hits album. Because my cousin had Symphony of the. Uh, or Countdown to Extinction with Symphony of Destruction on it. So I like. That was like the, the first Megadeth CD I bought was like their greatest hits. And they're just jamming the. Well, mine, the one that my mom bought me on my birthday, it was Papa Roach, Infest. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. I like that album still to this day. It's fucking good. Infest. Going to Infest. So I have a couple But um, the other one, which was bought at the same time, was uh, Matchbox 20. Oh, <laughs> Mad, dude. Mad Matchbox. Season. Yeah. Did you have that, that one? I know that CD. My, I didn't own it, but I've heard it. And you know what? And, and, uh, a portable CD player. Yeah, at the wall. That was my birthday that year. Yeah. Dude, mine was almost um, like that. that but crazy. mine was like, do you remember those big jukeboxes? Those, uh, or those beat boxes that like were like colored, but you could see through it? It's like you can get a blue one that was kind of see through. It had a CD player, radio. It's like the big handle pickup. Oh, okay, plug into yeah. The wall. Sure. I got one of those. I got a Lincoln Park CD. No, the first one dun, dun, was a Backstreet dun, Boys dun. CD because it was it was my grandma got it and then, then my brother. Thanks, grandma. They got my brother got fucking Britney Spears. Really? Yeah, it was really interesting. She just <clears throat> bought what what was hot. It was right. She was like, she's like, I, I heard, heard the new the, yeah. She went to the store. What do the kids listen to yeah. these days? So I got like the Backstreet Boys CD. He got the fucking Britney Spears CD, and we got like a boombox to share. Um, and then I think like the next year I oh, got yeah. the Lincoln Park. Yeah. People theory. don't know you have a Thanks, twin brother. Bro. Yeah, twin brother. Twin so brother. yeah. You, did you always get shared gifts? Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of sometimes. That's kind of cheap. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it is what it is. We grew up pretty. That's what you get for not devouring your brother in the womb. I should have fucking ate his ass in the womb. <laughs> <laughs> that's what really happens. That does happen ass. sometimes. It was supposed to be triplets. <laughs> <laughs> you just tore them apart. We, both we of teamed you. up. <laughs> we can't have none of this shit. I'm not even going to lie. That just gave me an idea for a song title. <laughs> Call it Sins of the Womb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is dark. Battle. Embryotic battle. <laughs> <laughs> Fetus yeah. fight. Let's Fetus go. Fetus fight. There's three new song names right That's there. That's the new video game. Fetus fight. It'll be like <laughs> Rock'em Sock'em Robots, but with fetuses. You can't, you can't beat us, we're a fetus. <laughs> Big head flies up. And then it'll explode into blood. Oh, snap. Start, start throwing like 
placenta at you. Placenta attack. <laughs> you, have, you have the cord like a whip. Like <laughs> Supersonic baby scream. Uh, this moved into some weird territory, but yeah. it's fun. Sorry, <laughs> listeners. It's, uh, <laughs> it's our Mormon fucking... <laughs> we, got, we got into the Sense side... Yeah, right? We got into the side panel of this... The random... Weird shit we talk about for the podcast. Dude. Yeah, fetuses fighting each other to the death. <laughs> God damn. I can't even say it. I can't even say it. Is that what they're doing at Planned Parenthood? Just like getting like an ultrasound and stuff. And they're just like ultrasound attack. Finish him. It'll just be it'll just be like a, a grinder. <laughs> What is this? The baby... The, the, what is a steel chair? Hey. God damn it, no! Coat hanger attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you did I shouldn't not. have said that, huh? We apologize to all the listeners. <laughs> the morning after pill, oh, no! <laughs> oh, this damn... That is not an appropriate joke. You can joke at anything, man. We can that's, joke at anything. That's, that's, that's what, what right. I believe. Shouldn't be able to have to censor ourselves. Hashtag homemade abortion. You guys are going to be afraid to post this, are you? <laughs> this part, maybe, yeah. Um, come on, man. We have to do it. Whatever. Don't you edit me out. <laughs> Don't you fucking censor me. <laughs> I got to, uh, you guys can. Mike was pretty quiet during that. I got A little bit. He's got to go. <laughs> Let's go. We'll wrap it up right now. Yeah, uh, we did. Right. This well, is a pretty have, long one, I actually. I have him home, but, yeah. Yeah, soon. this. How long is it? How long has it been? We're at uh, an hour and ten minutes. About an hour and ten minutes. It's not bad. Uh, it's not bad. Sweet. Yeah. You guys know the email address by now, right? DistortedMindsPod at gmail dot com. Get us up there and get us on Facebook, Talk Instagram. Talk shit to us. Do whatever you want. Yeah, man. Good, bad. Just let send us, us know. death threats. Don't send us or death money. threats. Yeah, you could send us. We'd really appreciate Bitcoin. That. We Death gotta threats get, and gotta get probably like a, a Ooh, PayPal set up for no that. Anthrax. <laughs> don't want any anthrax, the drug or the band. As... We don't want either of those. <laughs> we gotta get. They're both. We gotta, oh, we just we gotta got some get anthrax heat. We gotta get a PayPal maybe and a fucking uh, PayPal. And a PO box. So that way, if you guys want to send us anything, send us any like fan art or anything that you want us to talk fan about. Art. Try not to like you know. Or keep, send us send us your parts. Send yeah, fan send parts us fart as well. videos. Package them up in a bottle. Don't do that. <laughs> they will really send do us, that. Send, we'll, send we'll us your really bath water. It, it'll, it'll, <laughs> send us your bath. <laughs> it'll, uh, it'll, it'll be the it'll be the bed bath and fart collection. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Mail us your farts and we will open them on the podcast. <laughs> send us your nudes. And you know, we'll, we'll send, critique we'll them. Open your fart on the podcast. We'll let you know on a scale of one to ten yeah. how smelly and rank they are. We'll come up with a rating system. Dude, that's ridiculous. And, uh, if we really have to do that as part of the podcast, I'm gonna yeah. be upset. You no. might have to send glass. Glass probably holds the fart. It's Keith's turn to open the Better. fart. Good yeah. boy. Yeah. This one's all the way give from it a, Canada, Keith. I give it a four out of ten. Yeah. Call them charity yeah. bombs. It smells like it smells like you've been eating a lot of peanut butter. Yeah, yeah please also write down what you lot. had to eat that day. I smell a lot of earthy tones. <laughs> Got a citrus back to it. <laughs> it, uh, it burned my nose hairs. It singed uh, my nose hairs. It's, uh, it's got a sulfury kind of burn to after it. T- has an aftertaste. <laughs> an aftertaste. An aftertaste. <laughs> it's in my. It's in my. Uh, it's in my mouth. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, this was fucking fun. All right. Till well, next time. Until next time, guys. It was fun. Seacrest out. <laughs> <laughs>